The World Central Kitchen, a disaster relief charity run by the famed chef Jose Andres, has now paused humanitarian operations in Gaza. That's after an Israeli airstrike killed seven of its workers, including an American. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu acknowledged that Israeli forces did indeed carry out what he called an unintended strike. The White House is calling the incident heartbreaking and troubling and urging Israel to investigate what happened. News for Gus Rosendale live in the newsroom with the reaction to this coming in from across the world. Gus. And Adam, tonight as the group pauses its operations, ships with additional aid are turning back from the region. And Israel, yes, now accepting responsibility for the deaths as international criticism is growing. The Israeli airstrike killed a total of seven aid workers, including a dual citizen of the U.S. and Canada, plus team members from Britain, Australia and Poland, along with a Palestinian driver. They were all working with World Central Kitchen, the food charity's logo still visible in the bombed-out wreckage. The group says it coordinated the team's movements with the Israeli military, but that did not protect its members from the deadly bombing. Celebrity chef and World Central Kitchen founder Jose Andres called the victims angels and wrote on social media, the Israeli government needs to stop this indiscriminate killing and stop using food as a weapon. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today confirmed his country's military was responsible for the deaths, saying, Unfortunately, in the last day there was a tragic case of our forces unintentionally hitting innocent people in the Gaza Strip. It happens in war. Adding, we will do everything so that this thing does not happen again. These people are heroes. They run into the fire not away from it. They show the best of what humanity has to offer. Hey, this is Zami and Chef Olivier. One victim, Australian Zami Franken, was considered an experienced aid worker, and her country's prime minister says he expects full accountability. This is just uh, completely uh, unacceptable. Aid workers and those doing humanitarian work, and indeed all innocent civilians, need to be provided with protection. World Central Kitchen says it's served more than 40 million meals in the region since the conflict began. I just spoke to WCK founder, Chef Jose Anders, and expressed the deepest condolences of Israel Defense Forces to the families and the entire World Central Kitchen family. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss my, like, you know, my phone calls or text exchanges with her or photos of her from wherever she's ended up in, in the world at that moment. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a huge loss personally for me, but it's a greater one, I think, for, for humanity. And along with an investigation, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken also called for additional protection of aid workers along with other innocent civilian lives. In the newsroom, I'm Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York.